Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how I got on when I tried to make this photo frame from the Makerly Craft subscription box. Uh, this was the copper embossing kit which was the kit for May this year and I already made the hanging heart decoration which you can see here. Um, I'll link that video below as well as the unboxing video. For this make I will be using the embossing tool and the wooden tool, the template, the cutting mat, the A4 copper sheet and the picture frame from the Makerly box and I'm also going to use some uh, low tack tape, craft knife and a metal ruler and these are all things that I already had at home. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get some of these uh, ripples and creaks out of my copper sheeting. Um, it's just where it's been in the envelope for posting. So you just put the sheet on a hard flat surface and use your finger to smooth out any creases. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stick my template onto my copper sheet because I don't want the template to move while I'm tracing. Now for this bit it says I don't need to put the copper sheet on the mat yet so the idea is to gently trace along all of the lines of the pattern with the small end of the ball tool. So to make it a little bit neater and to make my life easier I'm going to use the ruler Now I'm gonna just go over the rest of the pattern. So now I have gone over all of the lines and all of the pattern, I can take the template off of the copper sheet and you should be able to see the pattern underneath. So if you can see the rough lines, now what I've got to do is one, cut the frame out of the copper and two, go over all of the lines. So I'm going to use my craft knife and my metal ruler to cut around the outside. So now that the main shape is cut out, I'm going to use the larger end of the ball tool to go over the patterns that have been embossed so that they stand out a little bit more. So I'm going to do that now and I'll catch up with you in a minute. So I've been round all of the pattern again. Now I'm going to turn the design over. So this is the side that we're going to see and um, if you want to create a little bit more definition you can go around in the dips now with your ball tool gently just to get rid of any dents there might be take the back place on the back of the metal so like this bend around so they grip on. Mm 
burnishing the copper down does help quite a lot. So, put my glass back in my frame. What I think I'll do is I'll have a go at the back with a hot glue gun. And then it will stick firmly in place. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave me some comments below. And I'll be making the final copper embossing project in the Makerly box sometime next week and that is candle holder so you can all look forward to that and uh, I'll see you again next time bye bye